Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Git tutorial, we are going to learn about the merge conflict and how to resolve merge conflicts in Git. Now, usually if I talk generally about the conflict, right, when two people are, are having a conversation, they might have different ideas and may not agree with the ideas of the other person. And these are the scenarios in real life when the conflict occurs. Now, when we talk about the merge conflict, right, so as the name suggests in Git merge, when you are trying to merge merge something and during the merge the conflict occurs right so when two people are having the conversation that's a real life scenario they might have the conflict with the ideas and in order to resolve those sort of conflict usually either they'll fight which might be possibility or they sit together and work together to come to a consensus okay so this is usually how you will resolve the conflict in real life scenarios the other one is more advisable right rather than fighting now when we talk about the code the code conflict or the merge conflict that you are doing so usually a team of developers or testers who are writing the code test automation code they will be working on the branch which is the main branch right or the master branch which has the latest code so everyone has cloned the main branch or master branch on their computer and when they start working they will pull the latest changes that are there on the master branch now there are many common files now if we talk about the automation framework base driver is the common file that all of the people who are writing the test cases will be referring to this particular file the utils right so utilities will have these common utils that will be utilized by anyone who wants to read the data from Excel or things like that right so these are the common methods that will be utilized by the team members or the SDETs that are writing the automation code now if in case there is a file which has been pulled or baseline by SDET1 and then SDET1 started working with the feature that has been allocated to that particular person. Okay. Now, when they baseline their code, this particular method, say for example, read data from Excel was there present in the utils. Now, when they have the code, they started working, they started building their test cases utilizing this particular method and written the test cases or automated the test cases now during that time somebody or some other person has removed say for example deleted this particular method from utils okay this is usual scenario or change something here so in that particular case when there is some you know deletion or changes in the same line or deletion of the file that is being used by other as dead but hasn't been merged in the main yet then in that particular case there will be a confusion right so the confusion is basically when as that one took or pulled all the changes from main branch or master branch at that point of time this method was there okay but then when this as that one has finished working on the feature that has been allocated to them they still have this piece of code and they have built on top of the the code and they have written new test cases now when they'll try to merge it back to the main branch now because the main branch has been updated and this particular highlighted piece of code is no more there the merge conflict will occur the git get confused that in the main branch because somebody else has committed already in the main branch by removing this piece of code so this piece of code is not there in the main branch but as that one still has this piece of code and when they try to merge git gets confused and it's not able to resolve whether which one is correct like whether the code that is there in the main branch which doesn't have this method is the right one or the one that the as that one is trying to check in which has this method is the correct one and this is what the conflict is or the merge conflict is so if you correlate with the real example this is basically two people trying to talk to each other now you you need to in this particular case you need to see who has done those changes in the main branch who has removed this particular method and then come up to the consensus why this method has been removed and whether you need to remove this method from your as an SDET one whether you need to remove this method as well before you check in so you talk together and then resolve the conflicts and then merge the code okay now let's understand this with the detailed example this is the theory part but this is important to understand the overall scenario so that you can explain it in your interviews 
okay now let's go ahead and say for example let's take the base driver okay now in the base driver say for example there is a method so i will simply define a method just say test method okay so just defining a method and this method will just print something okay just say test so this method will be there in the base driver so let's quickly go ahead and check it in into the main branch okay so we'll say git status so we are on the main branch we have modified this file let's add it and to add just single file you just provide the file name okay so git add and the file name you'll see git status again you'll see the file has been added to the staging area and then let's commit right so we'll simply say git commit hyphen m and we'll say the message okay so commit merge something like that doesn't matter so now this particular file base driver has this method there okay now this is the latest code that is there in the main branch now as as that one comes in so they have been assigned one feature and in order to work on that particular feature they will create a branch right so they will get all the code that is there on the main branch when they'll create a branch they'll get whatever is there latest in the main branch and then they'll start working on it okay so we'll say git to get the list of branches just say git branch is the command and you'll see there is only one branch at the moment main and the star shows that this is the current branch that is selected right and in the pie charm as well you will see the main branch is being selected here right the highlighted one now as that one what they'll do is they have been assigned a feature to work say for example feature one or feature abc so they will say git checkout hyphen b and what this git checkout hyphen b does is it will create a branch and then switch to that particular branch okay so i'll simply say feature abc okay so it has switched to the new branch feature abc now if we go to the pie charm you'll see that it has already switched right feature abc is selected here in the right hand side so the switching has happened now this person started working on their code right so say for example this person also added some method here okay and i'll name it as as that one and we'll say as that one test merge right just a simple print statement now they have done this while they are working on their feature okay some other person has updated the main branch so what other person say for example the test architect right what test architect felt during the same time that this method is not required like right we we don't need it let's delete it okay and then we will make make the code more robust so this this is not required so let's go ahead and delete it so what happens is so let's switch to the main branch right so we'll simply say to switch to the main branch we'll say git checkout main and now we are on the main branch okay okay looks like i haven't saved it so let's go go back uh git checkout feature abc right and then we'll say git status so this file has been modified so let's add it and then check it in in the feature abc branch so say for example as that one has completed this feature and check in into the into their feature brand not not in the main branch as of yet okay so let me add and then we'll say git status you'll see that it has been added let's commit it right so we'll commit it in the feature branch so feature abc okay and this has been committed into the feature abc all right now let's switch to main branch and here in the main branch you will see you won't see those changes right that has been done by s.1 because those changes have been merged into the feature abc branch and not in the main branch as of yet right those have been committed in the feature branch so now the test architect felt that this is no more required let's delete it and still as that one hasn't updated or hasn't checked in the code to the main branch the as that one code is still in the feature abc branch okay and this test architect has deleted that particular method okay so let's say git status you will see that it has been modified and we'll say git add we'll add this file and then he has committed right so git commit hyphen m and we'll say just main as the method comment doesn't matter and the commit has happened in the main branch right so we'll simply say git branch and you'll see we are on the main branch the star shows that we are on the main branch and the commit has happened in the main branch without that particular method now if we go to the feature branch right so we'll say switch to feature branch so git branch and then feature abc oh sorry so git checkout 
not branch git checkout feature abc to switch to that branch you will see that it has switched to that branch and here you will see we are on the feature abc branch and feature abc still has this code here but the test architect didn't feel that this method is required and has deleted it so on the main after the sdet has checked out or pulled the code test architect has deleted this method but the branch or the work that sdet1 is doing is not aware that this method is no more on the main branch right this has been deleted so when now this person sdet1 will try to merge in the main branch the confusion will happen because main branch doesn't have this method but the feature abc branch has this method so in that case the conflict will occur and this needs to be resolved so let's see how the conflict will look like okay so we are so we'll say let's see we, which branch we are on so we are on the feature abc branch okay now if we want to merge say for example we want to merge this feature abc into the main branch okay so let's say git checkout main we are on the main branch route now okay and you'll see nothing is here and then we'll say git merge right and feature right we want to merge this feature abc to the main branch so when we hit enter you will see that conflict message right so auto merging this failed because merge conflict in this particular file okay automatic merge failed now we have to fix these errors manually and if we go to this file now right we are in main now you will see this particular message something like this so what it shows is anything so this is basically the divider so anything you know above the head is what is there in the main branch that's what it's showing okay and below this is what is found in this feature abc so below this is what has been found in this feature abc now you as a team need to discuss and see what exactly is correct right and after having the discussion so this is this can't be automatically resolved so you as an sdet need to go to talk to the person so basically your test architect who has done those changes and ask him why is this conflict and is this method no more required if they say it is no more required or they say it has been removed by mistake or it's, it's my fault it should be checked in right then in that case you simply remove these messages right so you'll see that you have to remove this line head and this line and that line okay once you are done with these with these changes right and you have had that discussion save this file okay and then simply check it in okay so git add base and then base driver because you have had the discussion and you have finalized that no this method is required this has been deleted by mistake so you need to go ahead and check in this particular method as well with all the changes that you have done as part of the feature development in feature abc branch okay so git add that particular file and then simply commit right so git commit and provide the message and you can say feature abc commit all right and you will see that feature abc commit has been successful okay and we are on the main branch and now if we go to the we are on main which has these changes okay checked in and if we go to feature branch so we'll say git checkout feature abc feature abc has all those changes as well and now if i do git merge command you will see it is already up to date right because what we have done is we have basically figured out the merge conflict in the base driver then we have updated this file we were already in the main branch we updated this file and then we checked it in into the main branch right so there is already updates both of the branches are already basically up to date right so this has been merged successfully in the main branch okay so this is basically how the conflict can occur and the way that you are going to manually have a discussion and resolve the conflict before merging the file or before checking in the code into the main or master branch okay so that's all pretty much about how you can resolve the merge conflict in git i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching